Hey guys, so we've got the final for my uh, EX4 DAX. This is the update to Shine Greymon. So there has been a bit of changes with Shine Greymon. There's one very good new card that came out. I actually talked about it in one of the other videos. And there's also been changes to uh, how the deck works and other pieces. So let's just get into it. Uh, to start off with the eggs, surprisingly, we're not going to be using the uh, BT5 Coromon. This is the BT12 Yellow Coromon. This has the effect of your turn once per turn. When one of your yellow or red tamers becomes suspended, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1k DP for the turn. Now, while that might not look like much at first... It definitely does add up, and it can help you uh, reach the effects that you need, well, the numbers you need to delete your opponent's Digimon through a reduction of their DP, because once a Digimon's DP is reduced to zero, they are deleted. And we're going to be using, yep, four of the yellow Coromon from BT12. Since this is now a yellow-based deck, we can play this BT2 Yellow Agumon. Now, the fact that it is a dinosaur, unlike other Agumons, which are a reptile, that's actually important. But then we'll go on to its inheritable effect of, when attacking, if you have three or more yellow tamers in play, you draw a card. So that's pretty nice. We've got another Agumon. This is from EX4. This can Digivolve for zero on top of any Coromon. This has the effect of start of your main phase. If you have a red or yellow tamer in play, you gain one memory. And then it has the inheritable effect of your turn once per turn when one of your yellow or red tamers becomes suspended, you draw one card. So yeah, that's pretty good. A lot of ways to draw cards. Uh, the final, uh, no, this is not the final rookie, actually. We have another dinosaur Agumon. This is the Agumon from BT12. This can Digivolve for zero on top of any Coromon. This has the effect of on play. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add up to one Digimon card with Greymon in its name and one Marcus Damon among them to your hand. And you place the rest on the bottom in any order. And then it has the inheritable effect of when one of your yellow or red tamers becomes suspended, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2k DP. Again, well, I, that might not look like much. With the Coromon and a bunch of other effects, that does add up. And it can help you take out a lot of big Digimon, actually. Uh, the final rookie we have is actually not an Agumon. This is an Armadillomon. This has the effect of on play. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one two-color yellow card from among them to your hand. Place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. There are a lot of two-color yellow cards. Now, you can note that that doesn't just say Digimon. It's any two-color yellow card, so you can add a Digimon... You could add any of the two-color yellow tamers as well, such as Marcus Damon and another one. But yeah, that this just gives you a lot of searching potential. And uh, this list isn't exactly mine that I came up with. It was from a friend from my Digimon Locals. Um, I think... He does some YouTube videos, but I don't think he has his own channel. He uploads to a shared channel with someone else. But if he's watching this video, I'd like to shout him out that, well, this is, well, <laughs> this is his deck, essentially. Well, not his, his. I, it's obviously my stuff, but the list is inspired by his. So I figured I should probably put that out there. Uh, onto the level fours, we've got Geo Greymon. This can Digivolve for two on top of a Agumon in this name with the dinosaur trait. 
So that's why things like these Agamons are important. Typically, if an Agamon is yellow, it is going to be dinosaur, while most other Agamons are going to be reptile. Anyway, this Geogramon's effect is when digivolving. If you don't have Marcus Damon in play, you can play one Marcus Damon from your hand. And then this Geogramon has the same effect as uh, the BT-12 Agamon. So, yeah, their effects, inheritable effects, are identical, and they do stack, which is nice. Uh, we've got another Geogramon. This Geogramon also digivolves for two on top of an Agamon with the dinosaur trait. It has the same, all the same effects as this Agamon, which is from EX4, and this Geogramon is also from EX4. So since I pretty much went over its effects already, we'll move on. Uh, we've got a hybrid Digimon. This is Kazemon. This is the basic yellow hybrid card. This can digivolve. You may digivolve this card from your hand onto one of your yellow tamers, as if that tamer is a level 3 Digimon. This is a great way in order to maybe close out a game. As you can play this on top of any of your tamers, which you will have a lot of, for two. For, well, the co memory cost of two. And, uh, yeah, just hybrid Digimon are very good. Uh, on to the level fives, we've got the Rise Greymon from BT12. This has this can Digivolve for three on top of a Geo Greymon. And then as the when digivolving effect, if you have a yellow or red tamer in play, you gain one memory. And that has the all turns effect of once per turn, when one of your tamers is deleted, place one Marcus Damon from your trash on top of your security stack face down. Now, since I probably went over it in the last Shine Greymon video, Marcus Damon can become a Digimon and you can attack with him. So this Rise Greymon effect will pair off with that since Marcus Damon is only a 3000 DP Digimon, most likely he'll be defeated in the security check. So he'll be trashed, but then Geo Greymon, I'm sorry, Rise Greymon's effect will kick in and place him on top of your security. And Rise Greymon's inheritable effect is the same as his all turns effect, which I just explained. Uh, we got one of the BT2 Rise Greymon. This has the wind digivolving effect. You may play one yellow tamer from your hand without paying its memory cost. However, any on play effects on that tamer played with this effect don't activate. That's fine. You'll mostly be using this to play Marcus Damon's or one of the other tamers that you have. And that has the inheritable effect of while you have three or more yellow tamers in play, this Digimon gets an extra security attack which can sometimes matter. Uh, we got three copies of the Rise Greymon X Antibody. This can Digivolve for one on top of a Rise Greymon. And then when Digivolving, you may play, play one yellow or red Tamer card from your hand without paying its memory cost. This time on play effects do activate. And then if you have a Rise Greymon or X Antibody in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2k DP for the turn for each yellow or red tamer you have in play. And then your turn for each tamer you have in play, this Digimon gets an extra 1000 DP, which is very cool. Of course, onto the main level 6 of the deck, we've got BT-12 Shine Greymon. This can Digivolve for 3 on top of a Rise Greymon. When digivolving for each yellow and or red tamer you have in play, one of your opponent's Digimon and all of your opponent's security Digimon get minus 3k DP for the turn. And then your turn effect, all of your Marcus Damons in play gets an extra 3k DP and a security attack. So that can help increase the power of your Marcus Damon. And again, since you'll most likely have this Rise Greymon under Shine Greymon, You'll even if he's knocked out by a security Digimon, he'll return to your security stack, and then once he's checked again, you can play him once again. Uh, as a little tech card, we're running the original BT2 Shine Greymon. This has the 
when digivolving effect, suspend all of your yellow tamers, and for each tamer suspended by this way, activate the following effect. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 4k DP for the turn, and then it has the effect, your turn effect. This Digimon gets 1000 DP for each tamer you have in play. Um, we'll go over a little combo you can use with this one later. On to the level 7 of the deck. This is an amazing card, and it's almost like a mini version of Death Xmon, which is an also incredible card. This is Shine Greymon Ruin Mode. This can digivolve for 4 on top of any Shine Greymon. When digivolving and on deletion, until the end of your opponent's turn, next turn, all of your opponent's Digimon get minus 5k DP. And yes, its own effect stacks on top of itself. So when you digivolve it, you get the minus 5, and then when it's deleted, you get the minus 5 again. So, and a little bit of note... This is a blanket minus 5 and or a blanket minus 10 to your opponent's entire board, meaning any Digimon they bring out is instantly deleted. However, they do get the on-play effects of the Digimon when it's played. However, after that resolves, the Digimon just dies instantly after that. And then it has the end of attack effect, delete this Digimon, and for and one of your opponent's Digimon as well, and recover one from the deck, and then recovery plus one from the deck, so you heal. Then, if you have a tamer in play, you can hatch one digi egg to an empty space in your breeding area. He is very good. I've managed to uh, do pretty good with him in the deck, and I like it a lot. Uh, On to the tamers, which are very important for Shine Greymon. We've got two of the memory setter, TK Takashi. He has the start of your turn effect, like all memory setters. If you have two or less memory, set your memory to three. He has the on play effect of look at your security stack, then reveal one card in it and add it to your hand. If it is a yellow card, you can recover plus one, essentially replacing the card you just took. You then place it in your security, then you shuffle your security and put it back where it is. And with all tamers, it has the same security effect. If it's checked in security, you can play it to your field. Uh, of course. The guy himself, Marcus Damon. Start of your turn if you have a Digimon with Agumon or Greymon in its name and play by paying one memory for this turn. This Tamer is also treated as a 3k DP Digimon that can't Digivolve. Your turn when this Tamer becomes suspended, one of your Digimon may Digivolve into a yellow card with Greymon in its name from your hand without paying its cost. Now, I will go over that combo that I mentioned with the original Shine Greymon. Shine, this Shine Greymon paired up with this Marcus Damon. Even if he's not attacking, it's any way he's suspended. Even if you suspend him with this Shine Greymon's effect, his effect will activate. Since he was suspended, you can digivolve this Shine Greymon into Ruin Mode for absolutely free. So not only will this Shine Greymon's blanket, or no, it's not blanket effect, it's minus 4k to each of your Digimon for each Tamer you have in play, will add up onto this Shine Greymon's minus 5 as well, meaning you can delete a lot of Digimon by doing this. And that is a pretty nice combo that you can do with those cards and again has the same security effect all tamers have uh one card that i decided to tech in but that was because i didn't have four copies of another card i decided to keep in tai and kari kamiya this has the start of your turn effect if you have three or fewer security cards you gain one memory if your opponent has three or fewer security cards gain one memory your turn when one of your red or yellow Digimon attacks. You may suspend this Tamer to have all of your opponent's security Digimon get minus 2k DP for the turn. That start of your turn effect and its other effect actually did help out a lot. And even though I don't have four copies of the card he did recommend, uh, this actually helped out quite a bit and I might actually keep it in the deck. 
uh, onto the final tamer and the tamer that my friend recommended. This is Cody. This has the start of your main phase effect. If you have a yellow Digimon in play, you gain one memory. When one of your Digimon with two or more colors attacks, you may suspend this tamer to give one of your opponent's Digimon minus 2k DP. Again, that effect does stack up with all of the other minus DP effects this deck has, and you can delete a lot of Digimon doing this. And same security effect as all tamers. And the final card of the deck is Heaven's Judgment. While you have a green Digimon or Tamer in play, you may use this card without meeting its color requirements, but that doesn't matter in this deck, as you will have a yellow card in play. You can activate the main effect. Uh, activate the effect below for each color Digimon you have. Activate it again. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 6k DP for the turn, and again, for every color you have. So since a lot of your Digimon are yellow and red, you can apply this effect twice, and then it has the security effect of one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 12k DP for the turn. That almost guarantees you will be deleting something with this effect. And that is it for Shine Greymon. It has definitely become probably one of my favorite decks in the Digimon TCG. Just Shine Greymon in general is very fun. Yeah, I, uh... Hope you enjoyed this video.